Oh, it's happening. I have overanalyzed doing this for so long. At some point, you just have to say it's happening. Hi, my name is Andrew Crusoe. I'm an independent author, and I'm finally gonna do some stuff with video on the computer internet to help you. I have <laughs> meant to do this for so long. And at some point, you just have to pull the trigger. My purpose for this, blah, these videos is to create, like really, let me, let me angle this so you can see what I'm looking at here. I'm shooting this with my iPhone 8. My purpose for all of this is to do, I'm not gonna say short, I'm gonna say brief, unedited, because I just don't have the time to edit stuff. I've done that part of my life. Helpful videos. Now, I will endeavor to light these well. Hi. I am doing this to do something different. It is currently on the eve of July 31st. It is almost August. It is also almost Harry Potter's birthday, apparently. I'm also the last person to not finish the series. I'm in the middle of book seven. These are kind of going to be vlogs. I have a website and I give away some ebooks. If you like tropical sci-fi, I'm here on the big island of Hawaii. You can you hear that in the background? The corky, corky, corky. I can't assume anything about you. I don't know what decade you're watching this in. I don't know where you are on the planet. But that sound out there are not birds, which I thought they were the first few days I was ever on the island, uh, over five years ago now. Those are little cute, little bitty, cute little bitty frogs, called koki frogs. And um, they really don't belong here. But uh, they're, they're, they're pretty cute. And they're from Costa Rica. I'm gonna talk about, I just wanna talk really briefly about starting things. All right, so here's, here's the question. Depending on your personality type, this might be difficult, it might be easy, it might be somewhere in the middle. How easy is it for you to start something new? And please feel free to put this in the comments. For me, it's not easy. Because I'm a planner, and I kind of always have been, it's much more satisfying and easy for me to finish things. I like going, this is done, finish. And from my research into things like the Myers-Briggs test inventory and all fun stuff like that, um, planning people, not always, but usually tend to um, enjoy finishing things more than starting things. Now, kind of the opposite of a planner, and uh, you can stop me if you've already heard this. Oh, wait, you can't because you're on the internet. But yeah, the opposite of that is people who are really spontaneous, right? And they don't need a plan. And they just go... Dah, 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 dah. And I'm envious of those people sometimes. This is my dirty secret. I'm envious of those people sometimes because they're... As I fly my glasses off my face. Because they have the opposite strength from me. And they don't fall into analysis paralysis the same way that I can. They are totally, they, they have much less resistance, totally more likely to start new projects and start new things. And um, of course the downside of that is people who are more like that um, often have trouble finishing things. So life is all trade-offs. Anyway, I'd love to hear what you think about this. Um, this is video one, kind of, uh, of what I'm doing. I've done, I've done some vlog type things before, uh, but I really want to make this a habit. I really want to do this uh, to, to, to see what kind of effect and, and how I can be helpful. Uh, I want to be helpful on this medium. I've, I have 
got five books out right now. At some point, I'll have more than five books out, probably this year. Uh, I have three tropical sci-fi novels that are trilogy that are really a lot of fun and have very good reviews on Amazon. And I have two uh, nonfiction Hawaii adventure stories out about what happened to me when I came to this island in 2013 and how it changed my life. And mostly just a fun sort of coming of age adventure type wacky adventure. And, and there, there aren't a lot of books about the part of this island that I lived in called Puna. And it's a lot of fun. It's, it's sort of this tucked away area, which is um, uh, one of the most isolated forest communities in the United States. If you look up Puna, Hawaii, P-U-N-A, there, especially now after the lava flow, there's one road in and out of all these areas. And uh, it's always under threat from the lava. We have a very seismically active island here and it's fun. <laughs> Luckily where I am in Hilo, it's um, a little safer. But, but uh, yeah, I, I, th again, this is unedited. This is totally uh, unrehearsed. I really want to keep things genuine and be available to answer your questions. I, I think that, um, I don't think, I strongly feel that there's way too much BS out there and people hyper-editing everything. And yeah, I just coined that. That's the thing. You can, get, you can pay me a quarter when you use that word. People hyper-edit, though, their life and they, they try to polish and they give away, they give some impression that they're, um, hmm, let's say, more perfect than they really are. And I, I think uh, and strongly feel that we're done with that. Being genuine is the new currency. And there are several people who have inspired this. I mean, you, you're probably familiar with Gary Vee, or if you're not currently, you will be familiar with Gary Vaynerchuk. Big inspiration to me. Do I agree with everything he says? No, but I think that he's, he's, um, he's, 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 his values are helpful in terms of honesty and transparency and being genuine and making stuff. Also Merlin Mann. Oh my God, Merlin, if you ever see this. Do you remember that time we met in that pub in San Francisco? That was fun. And you did that thing at the comic book shop and then the comic book shop closed. <sighs> it's tough to be in San Francisco. Everything's expensive. Merlin has very much inspired me. He's a great podcaster. Um, and yeah, his name's Merlin, man with two N's. A lot of people, see Pavlina. You know, this is the first video, so you know, I gotta talk about my influences real quick. People that inspire me. And I really wanna, um, even people like Tui Snyder, who, not mega famous, but best-selling um, best travel book for Texas. Um, even like Eliza Schlesinger, you know? like. People who, sometimes you run into a hardworking creative person and they just resonate with you. And that's one of the things that I want to explore in this um, series of me talking to you and hopefully having a dialogue with you. I endeavor to make this useful and I endeavor to make this funny as we go along too and get a feel for things. Um, I've been really lucky to do a lot of different things in my life, including stand-up, which was mostly hilarious because it was bad. Mostly, <laughs> mostly I write books, and I help people with computer stuff. But anyway, this has gone on for nine minutes. I, you probably have already tuned out, whatever. But thank you so much for watching. I would love to hear your comments on this. This is the first one. Starting's tough. Maybe that'll be the title of this. I don't know, but I'm not going to, don't like, don't subscribe. That's reverse psychology. Love you. Oh, and uh, my website's the word myth, M-Y-T-H dot L-I, Mythly. It'll probably be in the description. I finally did it, guys. I finally did it. I've been thinking about making this video for months and months and months and months and months. And I even put a nice shirt on. That's how much I care about you. See you around the trail.